Uh, they said, you know, oh, we've got a project trees, would you like to, to read for it? And they weren't sure at that point what uh, part I might play. They were considering maybe Ranger Cody or Max, and I think they, they thought more uh, toward Max, um, which was fine. I, you know, I really didn't know too much about the project. It sounded interesting when they said it was a, a takeoff on Jaws. Um, and I said, yeah, you know, I'll try it, no problem. And um, then uh, I auditioned for it, and I thought I'd, I'd done a decent job, and I heard from them maybe a month or so later that uh, they were going ahead with the project. And, um, you know, right from the beginning, I, th I thought, well, this will be fun. And then when we shot the first scene, it was just, it was obvious that, that everybody was on drugs, and, um, you know, it could only get better from there. In my interpretation of Max, um, I, I wanted to uh, fill the character up with more of a sense that, uh, um, that he, was, he was interested in uh, finding this, this killer tree uh, rather than maybe saving Hazelville. Um, and I think in, in, in Jaws, there was almost an element that, uh, that Matt Hooper was interested in sort of saving the town. And I don't think I played as much off that as I did off just getting this tree. In this particular movie, there was just, you know, there was some, there was some good direction, but it was also left up to, uh, to the actors to to really create the atmosphere of where, where the tree was. I mean, this was a computer-generated tree. So you had, to, uh, you had to be pretty specific as far as where your attention was, where you were, where you were looking, making sure not to look right, right into the camera. Um, but for the most part, I, I really I found it uh, very freeing because I could imagine what the tree, it was like in my imagination, this, this killer tree. Everything seems to be coming together. I mean, there seems to be some, a real, a continual momentum in terms of getting this project done, which in the past, some of the projects that I've worked on, it hasn't been on this scale. Um, you know, the momentum tends to die off after the, after the filming, after the actual uh, acting work is done, for whatever reason, whether there's, no, there's not enough funding or, or interest uh, wanes or other people go off and do other things. But it seems like um, this project has a sense of focus and a sense of, uh, of purpose that goes beyond just, you know, having fun, which has been a component of it, but also wanting to put out a, a very a good product, a product that people uh, will enjoy. It's been a commitment on my part to, uh, to see this through and to, uh, to believe in, in the guys that are doing this project. And it seems like everyone else in the project has, uh, has really felt the same way. I'm in touch with uh, with some of the cast members, and uh, and we all seem to have a good time when we talk about the the movie. So hopefully, you know, the project will uh, will meet the expectations of uh, of the audience that we're hoping it to reach, and uh, um, we can look forward to uh, to other roles uh, down the road with uh, Trees the sequel. <laughs>